What is going on guys? It is Tony and Jake and today we are bringing you a triple threat match. We've got the HK Army Speed in the building versus the Die LTR and also the Spire IR. Before we get into any of this thing, first off, we're going to hit up LomoPaintball.com. Second off, we're going to wonder what in the beep is on Jake's head right now. Dude, what is PB that? PB swag bag. That's what it is. Okay. This is this is the old school way. I look like uh, Uncle DJ or my dad, Dad DJ. Okay. So when you're out there snap shooting, you know, you get the little thing on the top. Just got to look good. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. Well, That's... I can't play good, so I got to look good, which leads me to my first point. If you have HK Army, you obviously are looking the best on the field. No matter what company, HK makes the best looking gear. You think so? 100%. I mean, they are they are pretty ag. They're, they're ag. Yeah, that. they're no, ag. They that's, that's All right, on to the hoppers. Let's get, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. So Jake came in the building today to defend the speed, which is a great hopper. These things retail at $79.95, super light, uh, durable. What kind of batteries does this thing take, do you know? Two nine volts. Take it off the stand, show so, the people. Right underneath here, you just freaking take her off right there. And then you have two little battery slots right there. I don't know if Mark can see that. Mark can see that now. Oh, so you sure. got two little battery slots right there. And then uh, you put your, your plop your two nine volts in. You have your button and your light right underneath here. And then you just hit it. It turns on and then you're good to go. Okay, so well, let's talk about the Dye LTR a little bit. Comparison, kind of seeing what's what. Um, this is a $100 hopper. That's an $80 hopper, and the IR over here is $110. So we're all within the same price point range. Uh, this hopper does take... Yeah, let's, let's get to that battery. Right here, right down in there. It is three double A's, same on the Spire IR, I believe, right? Three double A's? Yeah, three. Yeah, this, this one's super easy to take apart, as I'm not being able to take it apart. Um, did you slide the button down? Did you push I it? did. I did. No, you slide the button up in the unlock position. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what it's I was brand doing. new, so that's you're, you're struggling? I am struggling. There we go. Got her, new plastic. And then you just freaking pop out the whole tray and there you go. Three double A spots right there. Okay, so actually, you know what? While we're on the inside of these hoppers, don't put it back in just yet. Um, you were telling me earlier that this HK Speed Hopper, you can easily clean out sometimes. Correct, yeah. With 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 even water, if Correct. you're careful. Yes, so show if you're me, careful. Set that down, so, show me how that works. I've, I owned a Speed for two to three years. I, I used it as my main hopper for the longest time when they came out, because I also used the original Pinocchio. I used it when I was out on the field. So how I would always clean it and how Evan from Pinocchio, the dude who helped design this. Push button. You have one little push button tongue. You pull this out. And if you take, if you break a little bit of paint in here or whatever, how I would clean this out after every single day if I broke paint, which normally it wouldn't happen. But you can just take a little squirt bottle, ch -ch -ch, spray it in there, and it comes out. As long as you're not tipping it back up like this. Towards the batteries, this obviously. Is, yeah, this is where your batteries are at. If you, you don't want to get the battery in the board area wet, um, I got mine wet a couple times and it didn't break, but I don't suggest it. But I would sit there, no I'd spray it off on the inside. Okay. It's not like the Spire where you, you can't manually sit here and twist this or else you're going to break it. In here, you can just get up in here. The fins are soft, so you can get up underneath of the fins. You can. Um, I would just take a microfiber and then I would just wipe up into here. And I just wipe up into here. Super easy to do. So it was very, very easy to clean. Okay, speaking about the fins and getting up in that area right now. Correct. I heard that hopper can feed 30 plus paintballs per second. I don't know. I didn't test it. Okay, fair enough. But, that... but it would feed 12.5 to 15 balls a second with, when I would play that. Without with a problem. Easy. Yeah, easy. Okay. No problem. It wouldn't jam. Um, the fins are, it feeds basically anything. Um, I've had rocks go through there. I had a pine cone jam up once because it wouldn't fit down into the speed, or it wouldn't fit down into Why the Why is he putting neck. a pine cone in there? It fell, it fell from a tree when I was playing. It oh, actually okay. like fell through my speed feed. Um, but I still had a pine cone in there and I kept reloading paintballs and the pine cone just kept jumping up over the fins and I kept on actually feeding. I have a video of it. It was pretty funny and I was like, what's going on? And I pulled out a pine cone. So it will feed through basically anything, Okay. which is really cool, which is why I liked it and why I used it for so many years. Let's talk about ergonomics and actual profile of the hopper itself. Yes. 
So I, I know the reason you really like to have it was the fact of like the rotor you've got there. I mean, it's fat and chunky in the back. There's no denying that. So how this sits on the gun is that you have a really big wide view, a really big range underneath because you don't have all this meat here. Same thing with the Spire is that this thing looks like a boat on the back. So it's, it's not the easiest to see because normally okay. you're looking down the feed neck of your gun. So you're normally looking down like this. And it is really nice when you're in the snake, you're in that front Dorito or whatever, you want to be able to have that nice wide view when you're looking. So if you're getting shot from the side, you don't just have that side hopper just sitting there looking at you. Sitting there, is it looking at you just or are you looking, looking at, at you. it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's both. It's looking back at you. If okay. you put some googly eyes on here, that'd, nice. be, that'd probably be awesome. You would do that. You would be the type I of would. guy to do that for sure. I would. So it does have the lowest profile in the back. That's, that's, another, that's the biggest reason why I used it on the speedball field. Um, when I used the woods, when I used it on the woods ball field, I would just use the, the normal Pinocchio. I'd use the big boy. All right, so let's talk about two more features, two or three, and then we'll close this video out. Uh, you also told me that this hopper never jams, 100%. and that's that's a lot to do with the eye sensor. How does the eye sensor on this thing work? So there is no eye sensor; it's a bend sensor. I don't know if you can see that little clip in there, Mark. There's a ribbon tab that sits on the. In there. Yeah. So there's a little tab on the inside. So this doesn't have eyes. Hold on one second. Just just hold on. Just, I'll be right back. Mark, just keep it rolling. I'll be I'll be back. I have one that have batteries. Show them how this works. That one has oh, okay. batteries in it. So this one has batteries. 37. So there is a little sensor in here. It's not eyes. So if, if you if you know you get any paint or anything on there, it's not going to jam up. So then once you move your finger across that sensor, you can hear it going. If you quit just, talking, let them hear it. Yeah. If you just listen to it. Just look at it. Okay, so there is a so little ribbon in there. and Every time that a paintball passes through it, then the spins, the, the little fins move. If there's no paintballs like there is right now, this is on. You can see the light is on. Uh, if there is no paintballs there, it will not feed. It will do nothing. It doesn't pulse. It doesn't grind up popcorn. It doesn't do anything like so that. So keep it just like that. I want to show you on the die LTR. It does have an anti jam fin just in case you did get a weird or fat paintball correct um, you can do the anti-jam the spire ir does not have does not have that they have the standard don't they have a button yeah doesn't the button like if you hit yeah like, i mean you button, could press it i think it's going to rotate it back it a little like, bit yeah but, it has the other little button so it does yeah it does like a little skirt but neither of these hoppers are built like that with like a little tab eye sensor. Correct. All the sensors are already on the board and they're more... And the Spire pulses. These are, these are more force fed than this, correct? Correct, yeah. This does not keep a lot of tension on the ball, on that ball stack inside of your, inside of your feed neck. Most people aren't shooting uh, 15 to 20 balls a second semi PSP anymore or anything like that. Where sure. the rotor, when it originally came out, it had all that torque on the ball stack. So those first few balls, once you start ripping on the trigger, you have all those balls compressed down and you had 10 balls right there ready to go. Um, but if you're shooting 12, 12.5 to 15 balls a second, it'll still feed perfectly fine. If you're going to, you know. You like that? Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. No, I like it. And the fins inside of here are pretty soft. Uh, lastly, let's talk about the speed feeds. So we went over the batteries and how they come apart and all that, but speed feeds for the hoppers. Your, well, not your, but the HK Army speed is, is a lot like the uh, LTR. And Correct, so yeah. For that, because you can't easily just pop, show them how the speed feed goes on the IR. This is easy. You just, you don't even have to pull this off anymore, but right here, there's a little tab and then you just take this a little tab, you push it in like a little button, you just maneuver it out and there she is. And, and then your you take feed a clips your speed in. feed, here's my speed feed, it's got my fins and everything, and then you just bloop. And, and then the it. LTR, you've got to actually take it off, and then you're gonna go on the inside, undo some screws, and that way you'll be able to install your speed feed on here. Same with the HK Army, um, it doesn't have a quick release like the Spire IR does. Yeah, this one has one little screw on the side. Once you get that screw off, um, and then you take your your little nose cone piece here, and then you slide this off, you have to take the battery cover out as well. And then what you do is after you get that little screw out that's right here on the side, you just kind of take your take your hand in like a, like a claw it motion. Yeah, spread it apart. and you just kind of spread it apart. There's a little seam right here, and then it just comes right apart. So for easeability, 
installing the speed the feed, Spire IR for sure. 100%. Next is going to be that. And then the rotor, you've got a bunch of screws and stuff to do with. So, um, and obviously out of all of these three, I believe, weight wise, we didn't bring the scale today. This but one's I think the, this this one's one's the lightest. lightest so. This one's the lightest, but I think it holds the least amount of paintballs. 180 so. round capacity for this, for the and speed. Isn't the Spire 200? These are both at 200. like 200. So. Yeah. So this does hold the least amount, but nonetheless. And I would say my last point on here would be, I think the LTR is the only one that does come with, so they can see an actual ramp already built into the inside. So when you guys get low on paint, it forces the paint towards the front to feed better. That is uh, one thing that sucks about the Pinocchio. And then plus when it's not, when it doesn't pulse like the Spire, if you have two or three paintballs left, it just kind of does that little pulse. This is on right now, it doesn't do anything. So if you have those last few paintballs in there and you don't have any paint left, you kind of got to do like a little shake and shoot and then it'll end up feeding the rest just of do them. The yeah, exactly, you'll get it just in there, like so. that. And then it'll end up going in there. All the right. Spire, you can add a ramp. All right. All right, what is each of you, what is your best selling point of each hopper? Okay, uh, okay, you One go first. Each. One thing, you start from left to right, go. Best selling point about the LTR? It's the fastest. Okay, speed. The lightest and has the best the best view. Okay. Spire, it's super easy. It's super, super easy. Ev everything in terms of taking apart, speed feed, um, just there's not really any maintenance you're ever gonna have to do. It's super easy for a new person to just take this and, and just do this right here. You can throw this in your bathtub. You can put it in your dishwasher. Uh, you can do pretty much anything. And then with this, you just you just kind of wipe it down. Um, it, the Spire is a very, very easy hopper to, to use. You just buy it, you put it on your gun, and you're ready to go. That's what I like about the Spire. Sounds like you really like the Spire. Okay. Uh, yeah, like LTR for me, like you said that this was the fastest. For me, my favorite thing is the shark fin. In case you do catch a weird, fat, oblong paintball, you can unjam it from the bottom. Um, for the HK Army Speed, I really do like that you said it is the lightest. I'm going to go with that. The field of view is great too. And then the IR, same. Um, quick changing that speed feed from speed feed to rain lid in case you got in bad conditions. Very easy, great hopper. So, yeah. That's and the I'm warranty at. on the yeah. Spires as well. It's nice. They do have like the best warranty. And out Mark's there. got his phone in his hand, so he might have a question. Oh, no. Yeah, it's. I hope I it's don't a know dumb one. can hear me, but. Uh... Vex TV, uh, can you get a speed feed for an Empire Hopper? What type of Empire? Empire? Uh, he like a he Empire a makes a Halo there's Hopper. There's the Z2s, then there's the the original Prophecies. So there is a universal speed feed for the Halo 2 Hopper if you want to do that. If you're owning a Z2 or a Prophecy, Probably they also not. have speed feeds for that. Do you have speed feeds for that? Well, they, they I don't carry them in stock anymore, but I know there were speed feeds on the market made for those hoppers. So what about the level? Uh, the, yes, there are speed feeds for those as well. I do have So one. any Empire hopper, as far as I know, they have made a speed feed for them, yes. Yeah. And that's it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed a different version of kind of comparing and contrasting hoppers. Jake, who is still weird, as you guys already know, with this on his head. I'm just old Sick. school, man. And uh, shop now. Back Lo to the 90s. Make paintball great again. 30 balls a second. Is he okay? I don't know. Sick! He's not okay. Make paintball violent again. He won't even let me talk. Shop Have a good day, guys. Sick! Sick! Don't buy from